Hi, this is Father Louis Skurdy, again with uh, Mr. Taylor, Finn Taylor, who is a member of St. Kilmakill Parish here in Swords. And it's not part of the Midlands, it's part of the Dublin East, community. Yes, Dice is a Dublin. Yeah, Dice is a Dublin. East Coast. And the East Coast. Why we are coming back to part two is because of this cemetery. The history that's preserved there is, is remarkable, mm -hmm. that goes back... 200 years. 200 years. Yeah. Now, I have a photo of a... Is it the same photo? No. Yeah, yeah this one. Okay. And my grandmother. Okay, so tell yeah. us who this is. Uh, Elizabeth Bell, at the top of, that, of this uh, headstone, would in fact be my grandmother. Uh, and she died in 1904. My mother's, um, my mother would have been oh, would have been two years of age at that stage. She died of scarlet fever, and my mother, of course, naturally doesn't remember her at all. But mm, there were two medals left in our house from World War One, 1914, 1918, and there's an inscription on the edge of them, and the name is P. O'Neill. Irish Guards with a number that I just can't read at the moment. The same is on both medals. Mm -hmm. And it refers to a P. O'Neill who died in 1917, according to the records, on the 27th of June, 1917. And he is buried, I found out, in a graveyard in, uh, in Belgium. The name of the graveyard, I think, if I pronounce it right, is Ferme Olivier. Uh, remembered in honour at Ferme Olivier, and it gives the name and the number. And he died on the 27th of June, and he was aged 32. And as far as I can check, <clears throat> this man who died in the Irish Guards, his mother was Patrick, uh, was, was Bridget O'Neill, his father was Patrick O'Neill. That Bridget O'Neill, I think, may well have been a sister of my grandmother. Uh, who was Elizabeth Bell, and her maiden name was Hines, and I think Bridget O'Neill's maiden name was Hines. Now, I haven't confirmed it, but I'm working on it at the moment, and I think that that might be the history of the two World War I medals, 1914, 1918, which turned up in my house. And as I say, I've been trying to track it down quite recently. And, <clears throat> and these medals have been in your home yes. for, since you were a child? Yes. And it's interesting, the back of the medal is George V. Of course, at that time, uh, Ireland was under the rule of, of Great Britain. And the front is 1914, 1918. 18. And of course, 1916 was the Irish uprising. That's correct. But many Irish people, many Irish men went to the war in, in, on the side of the British, of course, in uh, Europe. And many, many thousands of them uh, were killed and never mm. came home. A lot of people had sons who went to war, never came home. Some did come home and survived, and some were very badly injured. But an awful lot of them were, were killed. And any time you see any of those uh, reports are, uh, of the war, uh, the horrific scenes are, were absolutely horrendous. Mm. And I just wonder what this man, Patrick O'Neill, uh, what suffering he uh, went through before he died, and is buried now in this cemetery in Belgium. In, in Belgium which, and he's mm, a dis probably a distant uh, cousin. This of yours. Of mine, I, I, I'm in, inclined to believe, right. but I haven't quite verified it yet. But it looks like it's very likely. And and this church mm -hmm. is literally around mm -hmm. the corner from you, and oh, yeah. it has your family history. In it has a bit of it, yes. Indeed. That, it's indeed. fascinating. Indeed. This other stone has a section of it that was cleaned. Yes. Well, that was just cleaned because my father and mother, my father bought that grave many years ago. I don't know why the name actually is Bailey on the top of it, 
uh, and I don't really know who the Bailey people are, but it goes back to 1800s, and it's very hard to check on that just now. Right, right, right. But uh, for some reason, he picked this spot, which is quite near to the entrance to the church of St. Gill, and he seemed to fancy that as a spot for his own burial, and that's where himself and my mother are buried. God bless Very you. Very convenient to say hello, to, go by. To visit. Yeah, I, 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 exactly. Now, yeah. I was here, I don't know how many years ago, I visited here uh, in the Swords, Claire and Finn offered hospitality, and we stayed with them. Interesting story, we're going on our way to church, and this was um, before you used the euro, I guess, what was the coin? Uh, the Irish punt. The, the, the Irish punt. punt. Okay, so... <clears throat> We we had American money. We had just arrived, and Claire and 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 Finn and I were, and friends were walking to church, and he gave us some coins to put in the basket. Yes, Do you remember yes, that? Yes. Because we didn't have the right <laughs> denomination. Exactly. Uh, so I really appreciate that <laughs> and the thoughtfulness of that. But it it goes to show you the 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 connection you have with this parish. Yes. Yes. Well, as I say, I was and the loyalty. Where I was born, here of course, and baptized and. Uh, first communion and confirmation here, but uh, we, uh, I always lived in the facility only a couple of hundred yards from where I'm living right now, and I worked all my life here in Swords in, in, in a shop where uh, myself and my brother had two businesses, a hardware business and a drapery business. I was in the drapery end of it and the clothing end of it, men's general right. store. And I entered that, I came to that store I don't, yes, 15, yes. 20 years, years ago. ago yes. When did you close it? We closed in 19, uh, 1997. Okay, so it was before 97 that I yes, was here, probably 80s. Yes, indeed. Um, there's a section of, the, of this that's cleaned. Yeah. It, mm. uh, someone had mentioned that there's a tradition of washing the graves. Uh, the stones? Uh, no, not really washing the, the, the graves. Or the, there is a, a ceremony every uh, in the summertime. It's usually the last Sunday in June for uh, for all those who died, uh, and all the people would come back from maybe England. A lot of people would come mm -hmm. back to visit their own graves. It's kind of a, a tradition that that's in Ireland and in, in nearly every parish, and mm. it's a get together. And people do clean up their graves. Interesting. And, and keep the them. last Sunday of June. Mm. Last Sunday of June. Do you know why? No, just it's tradition, so that everybody right. knows it, it, that's the day. Come on home. And people kind of meet at each grave uh, that wouldn't have met maybe for the twelve months. Right, right. And sometimes people, people come from even England or England or America and sometimes just for uh, at that time of the year because they know they will meet other people who are coming back as well and it's a good time. Right. Thank you so much. We have been on such a journey in Ireland visiting churches to the Midlands and now we're in the Dublin County and a little bit of history from some other members that you've met before and this is a fascinating conclusion of this section of our journey here in Swords, in the is the the county the, is Dublin. The, the county is Dublin, yeah. And the castle had another um, county name. No, Fingal maybe. Fingal, right, Fingal right. is the area. Oh, the area. area. Okay. But Swords is the, is the townland and the town. Excellent. And we went to the castle before, and we saw the chapel there yes, that goes back to the 1300s. Yes, it's very nice early. if you're inside. Yes, yes. It's very nice that they have restored it somewhat inside, and the grounds are quite good, and they're going to do more on it in, Excellent. in the coming months and years. Finn, thank you so right. much. Thank God you. bless you. Thank sit, you. sit, sit. It's your home, yes. and we really appreciate your hospitality. Right. This has thank been you. Father Louis Skirty with Finn Taylor and his wife in the background, Claire here bringing you some aspects of the spirituality of the Irish church, churches to Ireland. Thank you very much for joining us and keep in touch. Let me hear from you. Father Lou Skirty at hotmail.com. God bless you. Very good.